This is the daily video update for Tuesday, November 10th, 2020, for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Um, this is more of a personal update today. Um, yesterday, I, I got a letter from the Unitarian Universalist Association, the Ministerial Fellowship Committee there, um, telling me that they had, uh, they had granted me full fellowship. Um, That's a thing that is not in the lexicon in the broader world. Um, I'll say that it, it is the end of, uh, of the process of ministerial formation uh, that started 10 years ago for me. Um, we call it full fellowship now. It used to be called final fellowship um, because one of the things that, that we've changed in the last couple of years is, is a recognition that it's not the end of formation and learning. Um, but that indeed we, we continue doing that uh, throughout our careers. Um, we talk about it at the, the Ministers Association as, as moving from a learned to a learning ministry. So um, I'm still in a demon program. I'm still going to be doing continuing ed uh, for, for the rest of my career. But this is a big step and it's, it's meaningful for me personally uh, and for, uh, for my role in the broader denomination. Um, as you might know, uh, part of preliminary fellowship, which I've been in for the last three years, uh, is meeting monthly with uh, a senior mentor in the denomination. Um, and so I've been meeting every month uh, with Reverend Gene Pupke of the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Richmond, Virginia. Um, and, uh, and so when I told her the good news yesterday, she asked uh, if, if uh, I'd be interested in sharing this announcement with her. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to the conversation that Gene and I just had. Hey, Gene. Hi. How are you? I'm good. So big excitement. This is quite good. Yeah. Yeah. So full fellowship happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a weird thing. I don't really know what to say at the end of it other than it was 10 years later. 10 years since I started um, and that's pretty quick for the whole process um, they didn't they didn't tell me uh, 10 years ago that it was a 10 year long process I don't know if it would have probably still would have done it but yeah I think when you're in the process you think about getting to doing the ministry as the goal yeah you know but then you kind of get another education yeah. So this is what I think I want to say. Okay. It's hard for congregations to understand sometimes what it is that marks the milestones of a ministry career. Um, there are things like getting a call to a congregation, as you have done with Oscar. Um, the Lincoln call is an important call. Just ask Fritz if you're not sure. That's another point. That's a very important point in a life retiring from ministry. We have Fritz down here in Virginia now, so that's cool. And you have Oscar. And this week, Oscar got great news. The news is that after 10 years of preparation, after three years of serving the congregation, He's been granted full fellowship. And I wanted to just say to the congregation of Lincoln, how delighted you should be and we should be, and you should be celebrating this. Because what has been said in granting full fellowship isn't that Oscar is done learning, isn't that he's done trying, but rather his ministry has been found satisfactory to the work of ministry and self-directive enough that he now can serve a congregation and take to himself and his colleagues and you a sense of responsibility that is shared. So what I want to say is you should be excited and delighted because I think that you have one of the best ministers of his generation. And we don't know that yet because it's not all unfolded. 
But if you're smart, and if he's smart, together you'll figure out how to see this be a ministry of distinction. One that is really important in the life of the church and the effect on the community. I think you've caught yourself a great catch here in your call. And I'm excited for all of you. I hope that you have a long and happy ministry taking care of working your mission together, but also, but also caring deeply. Because that's what we're called to do in ministry leadership, is to build communities that are beloved. And that's a hard and worthwhile work. Blessings from the congregation of First Unitarian Universalists of Richmond, Virginia. And I've had the privilege of working with Oscar in his preliminary fellowship, and he's been outstanding. Thank you, Oscar, for letting me do that. Thank you. You know, I, I think one of the differences for me um, between preliminary and final fellowship is that preliminary fellowship, you have this idea that it's, it's an achievement that you've somehow done. <laughs> and by the time it's, by the time it's what we used to call final fellowship, and then we now call full fellowship, it's, it's much more apparent that it is not <laughs> at all a particularly solo or, or even self-centered um, achievement, that it's, it's the work of a community. Um, I've been spending the last 24 hours thanking people you know, calling board presidents at Lincoln who have been around through the process and, and my family who's here and, and you, I mean, Gene, most of the congregation knows this, but you and I have met every month for three years. Um, and every hard- Talking things through. Yeah, like every hard moment of ministry and every great moment of ministry we've, we've talked about. Right. Uh, uh, and I, I'm, so appreciative of of having having your wisdom and also just your friendship in the last couple of years it's been really special it's it's been a privilege and we've also talked about some of my ministry challenges too so well <laughs> i've gotten some benefit out of this yep i mean richmond richmond seems like a great place and it's been a weird couple of years to be in ministry and we have multiple connections too. So, you know, we have uh, we have some grandparents who sneak back and forth to uh, to Lincoln often. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, well, I know you're um, you're in the middle of a retreat, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. I am. I'm going to go back and join again, and again. Um, blessings. Uh, I want to make sure you get thanked for persevering and for doing so well and for continuing to serve the Church of Lincoln. Thank you so much, Jean. All right. All right. Be well. Take, take care, Oscar. <laughs>